G'day guys, it's Clarky here, and if you're like me, you're probably having some trouble with backing up your files on Windows 7 Home Premium. Now, if you are like me, you're probably an idiot, because you've been fucking around with MS Config, trying to make your computer start up faster, um, with all your services and such, otherwise you're just having normal trouble, it's cool, whatever, it all works. Alrighty, now basically I'm going to show you something that you might have already seen before. Um, you might have already tried this, but I'm going to show you every one of the steps. A lot of these places <clears throat> that let you know how to do this, um, they show you one of the little things you can do in this area, but there is actually a few different things you can do in this area, and then there's also some small things that you can do to A, speed up your computer, B, uh, check for errors, which I'll show you as well, and C, uh, make your backups work. So, we're going to start off, we're going to go to the start menu, we're going to go here and we're going to type in services, and you're going to right hand click on services, the top one with the little cogs, and you're going to go to run as administrator. Alright, now we click that, and it'll come up with this little thing, this list. <clears throat> so in this list, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the following items. We've got block level backup engine service, which should be close to the top, should be here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go properties. You want to set this to automatic. Mine is at automatic, so it's over here. And then when you do this, generally, like, I'll show you quickly if I go disabled and apply. Okay. I go back to it. Uh, properties. Okay. So I'll change that to automatic. All right. Then I've got to go apply then start and that'll take a second or two and then okay all right now we're going to go to remote procedure call rpc so we'll go down the list uh too far not too far uh, where are we move this list over <clears throat> okay rpc this one also has to be started the same way set it to automatic set it to start okay Next one, we're going to RPC Endpoint Mapper, which is close. Endpoint Mapper. Same deal there. Properties. Automatic start. Well, automatic apply start. And last but not least, Windows Backup, obviously, which is down the bottom. There we are. Windows Backup. Same deal with that one. Okay. Now you click the cross. Uh, sometimes it'll tell you that you have to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Um, that's not always the case. But if it is, just do it. It's not that big of an effort. Um, <clears throat> do that. Restart your computer. Then we're going to go open up the file thingy, Majiggy. Uh, documents. So, so we start from computer. Now, your C drive is generally your system startup drive. It's got all your system components on it. So if we start with that one, what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to go down to properties. Then you're going to go, well, see, I don't really have a lot of space on here. I've got to clean it off and, like, up the size, but that's different. Okay, so you go to Tools. You're going to go to Error Checking. This option will check the drive for errors because errors are bad. Go Check Now, and it'll come up with this. Scan for, and well, you've got Automatically Fix File System Errors, which is essential. That's what you're doing. Then there's also Scan for and Attempt Recovery of Bad Sectors, which is for a physical... Um, fix of your disk. Uh, if you want to, you can click that. It is recommended, but it will take a lot longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and I'm going to go start, but it's going to tell me that it's in use. So here we are. Do you want to check for hard disk, hard disk errors the next time you start your computer? So the next time you start your computer, when you shut it down and then start it back up, it will scan for errors and this will take quite a long time. So I'll go schedule a disk check. I've actually got one scheduled, scheduled already, so what ifs. Uh, it's a good idea to do this for all of them, um, simply because, well, you know, you don't want errors on any of them. Uh, you want them to be working fine and good, fast, effective, all that shit. Okay, another good thing to do is to defrag your hard drives. And don't worry about that. So defragmentation, if I go this, I think this one just starts automatically. It's not much of a... Ah, fuck you. Whatever. Just defrag it. It's not that hard to figure out. Um, and that is basically the best thing to do for checking your backups. If your backups aren't working, um, 
you know, it's a pain in the ass because obviously it's dangerous if you fuck something up. If you do something stupid, you've got no backups. Um, basically, then you just come back to here. If you haven't got your settings started, or sorry, if you haven't got your settings set, do that now. Uh, choose which drive you want to save them onto. I save mine onto my D drive. Uh, this drive is on the same physical disk as your system drive. <laughs> what the fuck ever? System image can't be sent. What the fuck? Tell me I can't do that. Dirty slut. <laughs> anyway, so choose where you're going to save it to. That's fine. Um, and that's pretty much it. Create your system image third. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Create your system image first. <laughs> um, set a schedule date for it. That is a good idea. Mine is every Sunday at 7 p.m. I'm always on my computer at 7 p.m. every night, no matter what. <laughs> so that's my schedule. And do a backup as soon as you can. Then you want to restart your computer and you'll be fine. You'll be laughing. Alrighty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, here is the list again. If you want a screen cap or pause here. There it is. Block level backup engine service. Remote procedure call RPC. RPC endpoint mapper and Windows backup. They are the four essential ones that you have to have started to work Windows backup properly. Okay. So... I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if there's anything that I need to clarify on. I will make a new video if I have to. Um, comment, eh, not comment. Uh, try to contact me if there's anything wrong, if you need any personal help with any of this. And um, have a lovely afternoon, guys.